Hey, Mr. Meowgi. How are you doing? I guess you'll like that. Jared Polin, fro knows photo. Com, and we're back with the basics from the super secret project. Whether you have a D3000 or one of those rebel, whatever they're called, this video is for you. Autofocus. What mode should you set your autofocus on? AFC for continuous or single, which is they consider servo. Which one is good for you and which circumstances or which situations do you use that mode? So when you go into your manual settings, like your aperture priority, your shutter priority, your full manual, you then have control of the camera. The D3000 comes basically set to shoot AFA, which is AF auto. You don't want the camera deciding which focusing system to use. You want to decide based on what you are shooting. So what are the two modes that you're going to run into uh, primarily? You have AFC, which stands for continuous focus, autofocus continuous. AFS, which is a single focus or servo focus. What is the difference? Well, continuous means if you are holding the shutter button down halfway, it's going to constantly focus as you are moving. So right now I'm in AFS, but now I'm in AFC. So it's going to constantly focus as we're moving. Where do you want to use something like that? Well, you want to use that when you're shooting sports or moving objects or objects that aren't going to be in one place or the other. They're going to be moving. So that is something that you will use AF continuous AFC for in the Nikon or the Canon. Where would you use single focus? Well, if you're shooting inanimate objects, if you're shooting landscapes, you're shooting something that isn't going to move, like a portrait. The subject isn't moving forward, back, left, or right, or up and down for that matter. You want to then lock in. So in this case, I'm going into the menu system and I'm going to AFS. So in this case, you hear the beep? Hopefully the microphone's picking it up. That means that it's locked in focus. And as I move, my finger is still pressed halfway down on the button. The autofocus is not changing because it's on single. It is locked in. So no matter where I move, it's still in that same focus where I was at. But when you're using those 51.8s, 35.1.8s, things like that, if you lock in focus like this, and then you move forward or back and your finger is still locked, your focus has shifted. So a tip that I use or a tip for you is constantly refocus. If the subject is going to move slightly or right before you shoot, refocus. And if you're going to recompose your image, this is for recomposing. Say I want to center the camera. First I center it or I want to throw it off into the corner for rules of thirds. It's now centered. Now I move it off to the side and then I shoot the picture. It's for recomposing your image. Now in continuous, the way that you can cheat, not cheat the system, but throw things off into the sides, you can move your focusing points. In this camera, there are 11 focusing points. I use my thumb to control that. I select where I want to focus. And in continuous mode, when you're shooting sports, the focus will shift from box to box if the subject moves, moves from box to box. So in continuous, you want to shoot sports like soccer. And if the subject's in the left-hand side and he jumps to the middle side because he's running down the field, then they're going to be in focus. So those are your focusing modes. AFS, AFC, then you also have full manual if you want to manually focus. But you'll be in continuous and single most of the time. So hopefully that helps. Try it out. See what works best for you in what situation. Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. Mm -hmm.